welcome to another Every Tuesday tutorial. In this week's tutorial, I'm going to walk you through all the basics, everything you need to know if you'd like to create animated GIFs in Procreate. So what you see on screen is exactly what we're going to be creating together. I'm going to show you what it looks like in motion. So here it is as an animated GIF. So you can see we've got an animation of dripping going on. I'm going to walk you through all the steps of how to make this happen and make sure all of your layers are organized correctly and ordered properly to make sure that this works. And then all the settings when you're exporting it so you can post it onto Instagram if you'd like. So we're gonna hop back into Procreate and we're going to get started. Okay, so I'm in my gallery view in Procreate. So you're just gonna hit the plus icon up here. I already have a preset for Instagram. It's 1500 by 1500 pixels and I also make that 300 dpi just to have it super high res if you have an older ipad or an ipad with less space make it 150 dpi instead and that way you'll have access to more layers all right so i'm going to hit my instagram preset right here and you can see we've got our square document and i'm going to give you the colors that i'm using for this as well this project actually only uses three colors and they're right down here so I'm going to tap on each and give you the value. So this is the hex number right here and these are the color builds right here. So this is the darker yellow, this is the lighter yellow, and this is the white. So if you wanna pause for each of those and input those, you can do that. All right, I'm gonna head back to my disk and I'm going to start with the middle yellow right here and just grab it and drop it onto my background so it's all filled up. Now I'm going to add the extra details to my background. So I'm going to add a new layer grab my darker color right here. I'm going to grab my free mono weight brush right here. I'll leave a link on the video and in the video description if you'd like to go download this for free. Actually, all the brushes that I'm using for this are totally free, so just tap that link and you can have access to all these free brushes. So I'm going to grab my mono weight brush and I'm just going to draw a squiggle right here and a squiggle right here, and then just grab the color and drop it in, and then I'm going to do the same thing down here. So grab that color. All right, so now I've got my background all set and I'm going to create a new layer right above it and this is going to be my text layer. I'm actually going to merge this layer with this one. I don't typically ever recommend this. I like keeping all of my layers separate so I can edit them later on, but because of the way a GIF works, it's going to work best and you're going to have access to more layers if you merge these two together. So don't do this until you're absolutely happy with your background. If you wanna make any changes to it, do that first before flattening these. So all you're going to do is tap on this top one right here and choose merge down and that will merge those two together. All right, so this is going to be my lettering layer. I'm going to tap on my circle and choose my white. I'm going to grab my signature brush right here. Once again, that's free. Hit the link in the video description to grab it. And then I'm just going to write out the word melt. Okay, and if you wanna reposition it, you can do that. I'm just going to hit my arrow icon right up here and just move it down and kind of center it a little bit more. All right, so we are good to go now. So this is the base for everything else to come. So the first thing we're going to do is add mini drops onto it just to start it off. So I'm going to create a new layer right above it. I'm going to move back to my mono weight brush. I don't need any weight to my brush like I have with my signature brush. Come back to my layers, make sure this top layer is selected. I'm gonna reduce the size of this so I can draw in all these little details. This is down to a 2% brush. And I'm just going to come in and make very small details and then I can fill them in right here. You wanna make sure whenever you're filling something you have to keep a closed path. So this has to be all the way closed and then you can fill it in like that. If you don't do that, if you just you know, draw it like that and then you try and fill it in, it'll fill in your entire canvas because there's this opening where it kind of bleeds out. So just make sure whenever you're drawing these drips that you come up and you close it off and then you can drop in your color. All right, so these ones are gonna be really tiny drips. So I'm gonna come around the word and do these tiny drips everywhere and then I will be right back. All right, so I got my base melted layer on here. This kind of reminds me of grilled cheese. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is come to our layers and you're going to group all of these together. So in order to group your layers together, you're going to have your topmost layer selected and then you're just going to slide the bottom layers to the right. So drag and drag and then you can see we've got a group option right here. So just tap on that and now they're all grouped together. So this is our first group. 
So whenever you're making an animated GIF, whatever you want to continue on into the next frame, you need to repeat on its own group or its own layer. If we only had one thing that we were doing, we could use layers. But in this case, we have multiple elements. We've got our background element, we've got our text, and we've got our drips. So everything needs to re be repeated again and again. So it shows up in all the subsequent frames that occur. So you'll see exactly what that means. But just so you have a, a base idea of what's going on, we need to replicate this group. So slide it over and choose duplicate. And now we can turn off our bottom group right here. We can open this one up and we're going to alter this top one. You can either create a new layer right on top of it. I like keeping it all on this layer because you're limited with how many layers you can do. And once you start repeating groups, you repeat layers really quickly. So those layers really add up, especially if you have something a little more detailed. So I'm going to repeat right on top of this one because I know I'm just going to make my drips bigger and bigger as it moves on. So I'm going to select this layer right here on my drips, I can actually, I'll just label this one drips. Okay, return back to my mono weight brush, and then wherever these drips are happening, I'm just going to make them a little bit bigger. So as that animation continues, you can see that the drips are really building up and it's really starting to melt. So I'm going to come around, just repeating the same process. You can even add more drips to the sides of your letters just to hit home that it's dripping more, and then I'll be right back. All right, so I've come through all of my drips and made them a little bit bigger. If you wanna preview the difference between the two, just come to your layers, close up your group, turn on your bottom group, and you can just turn this top group on and off, and you can see already how that kind of animation's happening. Actually, notice I missed that one right there, so I'm gonna go in and edit that one, and then we're, we're just going to keep doing the same thing over and over. All right. That one's all set. So now I'm going to repeat the exact same process. So toggle this one to the left, duplicate, toggle this down, choose your drip layer, and now I'm going to make the drips bigger and I'm actually going to have a few that drip off completely. So I'm gonna have a couple that kind of fall down here and just go around the whole word again. All right, so now we can preview between this one and this one. And we're just going to do this two more times. So I'm going to repeat this group, go to my drip layer, make my drips even drippier, and then do it one more time, and then we'll be ready to export our animation. So I'm going to speed up the video and take care of both of those groups. Okay, I've got all of my layers now all ready to go. So you can see I've got all of them turned on. So if you've been turning yours off as you go, just make sure you go back and you turn on the visibility of all of your layers. So you want all of these on. This background color layer is totally fine. You can just leave it alone. But just make sure that you've got everything grouped. Everything's organized exactly the same. So it looks like your background, your lettering, and then your drip layer. And once you have everything looking exactly like you can see right here, now it's time to export it. So what you're going to do is come over here to your wrench and tap on that and then hit share. And down here you can see we've got an animated GIF, an animated PNG, and an animated MP4. If you decide to post this to Instagram, you'll want to choose animated MP4 right here. So I'm going to tap on that. And then you can see we get the option of frames per second. So you can toggle this around. You can kind of see a little small preview of how fast the animation moves. So the higher the frames per second, the faster your animation will be. So I'm going to bring this back down to four. I really like the way four looks right here. And when you're all set, you're going to choose web ready because that one's going to go to Instagram. So I'm going to tap on that. And then all you want to do is save the video to your iPad and then you can email it to yourself and open it on your phone to post it to Instagram or you can airdrop it to your phone directly if you have an iPhone. 
phone, and then you can post to Instagram from there. So for this example, I'm going to save the video onto my iPad. And the other really important thing to know about exporting an animated MP4 is when you upload it to Instagram, Instagram only allows MP4s to be posted that are at least three seconds long. So you're going to navigate to your camera roll and see how, how long that video is. It'll give you a small preview on it. And if it's not long enough, if it's not at least three seconds long, then Instagram won't allow you to post it. So if that happens, which is the case with this one, this one's only one second long the way it is right now, I want to show you some options that you can do to make it a little bit longer and then not have to worry about Instagram at all. So what you want to do is over here, you can see we've got all of these groups and right now they're still editable. So if I toggle one down, we can still add to drips or reduce drips. But as soon as we flatten these, we will no longer have access to those individual layers. So you want to be absolutely happy with your final outcome before you take this next step to lengthen your animation. So what you want to do is come over to your gallery and I like making a duplicate file. That way I always have a backup. If I ever need to go back, I can go back. Once you commit the changes to flatten your layers, you can't go back anymore. So all you want to do is slide this to the left and choose duplicate. And after it duplicates the file, just tap on the new file. And now we're going to come in here and we're going to flatten each one of these groups. So tap on the little layer thumbnail and choose flatten for each one of these. So now what we want to do is label all these so we, we stay a little bit organized because it can get a little confusing from here. So I'm going to label this one just layer one, lay, layer two, layer three, etc. Once you have all of your layers renamed, now we're going to select them all. So with the topmost layer selected, you're just going to toggle all the other layers to the right. And now what you want to do is group these together. So hit group. And now you're going to slide your group over and choose duplicate. And you're going to do it one more time, duplicate. And now we need to release these groups because we need individual layers. Our animation will not repeat if they're in groups, so they just need to come out of the groups now. So we're gonna start with this bottommost group. So what you wanna do is toggle this group down, and we don't want this new group selected. We want the top layer selected first, and then slide all these other layers over, and then just hold and drag them above the group. So now they're outside of the group, and now I can delete this. And we wanna do the exact same thing for these other groups. So basically what we've done is we took our original five layers and we're creating a manual animation. So because we knew our first animation was only a second long, if we duplicate it and duplicate it again, now we've tripled the length of it. So now it should be three seconds long. So it's just going to cycle through the layers and then it's going to recycle through them and then recycle through them one more time. And then the animation component of it will just continue to recycle once you post it to Instagram. So now if we preview it, I'm gonna come over to the wrench choose animated mp4 and you can see it's still repeating exactly the way we want it but since we have more layers now it's going to be a lengthier animation so now i can hit web ready and now it should be our three seconds long okay and this one actually ended up being four seconds long so it's perfect you can see the resolution of it isn't its best because it's the web ready version if you want a higher res version to post to instagram just know that the file is going to be a bit larger but you can do that as well so you can see it cycled through it three times and then it stopped but once you post to instagram it'll just continue cycling through it so now we have a long enough video to post on instagram so that's a workaround if your animation is shorter than three seconds and you need it to be longer all right and if you ever need an animated gif you can always come over to your wrench and choose animated gif and follow the exact same steps it's going to come out exactly the same just know that if you want to post to Instagram you won't be able to post the animated gif it'll just give you one frame instead of the repetition of all the frames so that's just a heads up if you if you do need an animated gif in the future but this behaves just the same way and you can post it to Instagram if you enjoyed this tutorial please hit the like button subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell so you get notified of next week's more advanced animated gif tutorial in Procreate. Once again, all the links to everything mentioned in this video are right in the video description. You can grab the color palette for this, as well as the free brushes that were mentioned. If you're brand new to Procreate, I also offer a free course called Procreate for Beginners, which I will link to as well. For more design and lettering tutorials and freebies, head on over to my site, every-tuesday.com. You can also find me on Instagram. My handle is at everytuesday. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time.